Hello, welcome back, nice to have you here. Operation, right? Well, I will not be going into it because a lot of other YouTubers already did, but what I did learn while waiting for it is... These things, they take time. Today is a big day because I have finally finished my main layout for my first ever CSGO workshop map. At this point I have decided to dig into the Mitri and start all the detailing. What this means for the channel is that in the near future regular updates of the map will not be so frequent, but that does not mean no more videos. I will be taking a sort of holiday break, but will be back next year with some fresh, fresh content. I have some really cool, at least I think it's really cool. I have some really cool content planned out, so stick around and I'll see you in January. Moving on, DE Mitri is growing up and pretty soon I will have to name it. Get out your best suit for a baptism. If you have any suggestions for a map name, make sure to leave them in the comment section. It has been a good number of weeks and it is finally in a place where it is playable and sort of fun. And most importantly, it works. At some point I did think it was sort of broken. Yeah. The last playtest went great, the map is balanced, we had fun, but most importantly there wasn't too much feedback, which I personally hope that it's a good sign, so right now I can finally call the layout of my first CSGO map done. <laughs> Let's not waste any more time and just take a quick look at the layout as it is right now. I have Photoshop opened right here. First things first, uh, I have prepared some basic callouts for the map so I'd like to go through them really fast. This is the first level of the map. As you can see there are a lot of uh, callouts, some of them just stuck to the map while playtesting. We have T-spawn, we have statue because we have a statue right here. Um, and then we have museum because I have decided that this part here, this building will be a museum. Then we have trees because there's some trees there. Then moving on to restaurant, bar, terrace. Terrace is not accessible. Might be. I'm just going to leave it that way for now. Then we have courtyard, which is the main part in front of the, t the church. Main A which leads you into the A site. Getting back to the left side from statue, you can go through snake, which I called snake because it's just this S form like this. Snake takes you under glass, which is under glass. Uh, also from snake, you can get into backside A. From backside A, if you haven't seen this yet, there's a building here right now, which I call split because from that building, you can split into back room, office and into A site or get down into B through these stairs right here. From main A, if you enter A site, on your right side, you'll have main stairs that will take you up into glass. And on your left side, you will have a ladder room that takes you down into B. Then almost halfway through A site, you'll have heaven, which looks down over the entire bomb site on uh, the left and right as you enter on the right you'll have benches and on the left you'll have scaffolds then near scaffold I, there's this small corridor where cds can get into the site which i just called breach because it sort of looks like a breach position even though no one's gonna breach it ever then on uh, the city side from which you can go into this alley and from the alley into a small hut that I call parking because right here there's a big parking lot. At the same time you can take an alternate route from city spawn that takes you into street which this right here is a big street basically. This part I call the generator because previously there was a car there right now there's a generator that sort of takes current down into B so this corner here would be generator. I gave it a name because it's 
sort of a camping spot. So if you have a player there, you can just call it out as being generator. Generator takes you into a ladder room that again takes you down into B side. If we move up into the right corner of the map, we will have barrier, which is a barrier that takes you into the parking lot, which isn't accessible. And also, of course, we have secret, which is the longest route that he's can take. B side, as you can see, you can enter it from secret from ladder room and from split through stairs. The callouts I chose for B site are obviously B site. Then if you come through ladder room, there are some coffins here. You can probably see them. Then from secret, you will would come through ramp, which is like a split ramp, just like on nuke. I also opened up this back side of the site, which I will call dark because it's usually pretty dark there. Everyone is complaining about it, but I'm not going to change it. I like it that way. This is sort of a back room that you can alternately take so that you are have cover from b site which i will call crypt there is a reason for calling it crypt but to explain it i'd have to go into detailing plans which i won't t's can go statue trees restaurant bar secret and they're down inside b alternately from trees they can get into courtyard to get a main or an alternate route through here and get into a side through here if they want to take back away they can go museum and come out through here go split back room office get into a they can also take this route split through snake so from statue if they go snake they can get up in here same route if they want to take heaven from museum they can just go through the glass bridge which i called glass through here and they are inside heaven or from snake if they want to go under glass they can go through here get into a through hut and they come out that benches here after all the playtests i think that the best thing for cts is just to hold sides so if you have five players you can split up the five players into three players holding a and two players going down to b side or alternately have three players go down to b side but one of them should go up and push secret so ct spawn they can either that's a bad color. They can either go street, get into the site either through generator or breach, and they can take up positions inside. Those could be either going to benches or sitting here at main. Third player usually goes up main stairs to hold glass here. Alternatively, they can go alley, parking, and they're out here holding gate. I forgot to name this. Mm. From the same position, they can also try to go down secret. So if they try to push this a bit more, they can get into secret and hold bar from here. If players want to go down to B, I have sort of restricted going down to B for CTs through ladder room. So all the players that want to go down to hold B, they will take a ladder room and get down into B. Alternatively, the one that is secret, he could push ramp and also get, out, get down to B. Okay, let's just take a look at the choke points really fast. Color. Choke points. The first choke point for T-spawn would be gate, bar, hut, back room. If they get through courtyard, A main could be another choke point. And if they get through back room, breach could be another choke point. Yes, I think that's about it. Let's take a look at B really fast. T's, as I already said, they have several spots. They will come into the site. One of them is secret, so T's can come down. Secret, take ramp, either root, and get the plant on the site. If they go split, split stairs, they can either storm the site through here, or they can go through crypt, dark, and get out in the back side of the site. CTs, on the other hand, are coming through ladder room, coffins, and they get into the site. Taking up positions for CTs inside B is pretty straightforward. Players usually stood either dark, ramp, or coffins. Choke points inside B could be ramp right here, coffins, this split here into uh, B site. These are both subject to change still, so if you have any suggestions, any better ideas for names, make sure to leave them in the comment section. So to conclude, 
on the first level we have one two three four five six main uh, choke points the time it takes to get to them is pretty pretty fast so the game right now is pretty fast paced if we take a look at b uh, we have a number of three choke points but b is sort of small so um, maybe the entire site is sort of a big choke point as to lanes, I think it's pretty dynamic. T-spawn right now can take mainly three main routes. The upper side with bar, trees and courtyard. The second one would be snake, glass, under glass, getting into hut. And the third one would be back of a uh, split back room office breach. Alternatives that would take them down to B would be three again. One of them would be secret. The other one would be uh, split. And the third one would be ladder room, which is pretty hard to manage. The only way you could do it is getting through statue, trees, gate, courtyard, A main, smoke off under heaven or hell, whatever you, you can also call it hell. Yeah, that, that's a pretty good idea. Smoking this off and then storming ladder room just to surprise everyone that is probably holding uh, coffins. That's subject to another video where I will be talking about tactics on the map. Yes. It's done. It works. I'm proud of it, I think. Now all that is left is to make it look beautiful, which I have already started with my partner, Skookum. Or as the people know him, Silent Monk. I will be taking care of texturing and making custom textures and just refining the architecture while Skookum is in charge of making all those nice custom props that we have already started to put into the map. We are hoping to have a near final version somewhere around spring next year, or maybe end of spring. Maybe we'll never finish it. I will be getting back to you with updates on what we're working on starting January next year, when I will also be refreshing the entire channel and coming up with some neat new content. And in the meantime, I will probably be making some streams on the Discord channel, so make sure to join that. Let's move on to other things. Are you wondering what's the most important thing that happened this week? I am proud to announce www.dmitri.com. Hop in and check out the website. There you can find all the relevant information you need about playtests and the Discord channel. And you can also use the playtest requests section where you can request a playtest. So if you need anyone to playtest the map you are working on, be sure to jump into thedimitri.com and request a playtest there. But you will need to be a member of the Discord channel to do that because sort of everything happens there, so make sure to check that out. Since we are talking about it, I'd like to thank the small team that is helping me out on the Discord channel. Thank you guys, it really means a lot to me and uh, keep up the good work. That's about it for today's video. Check out all my social media links and I hope to see you on the Discord server. Join us. We really need playtesters. Haha, <laughs> joke. Join the Discord channel. Like and subscribe to the channel if you like my content. Keep an eye out for a surprise Christmas video. And if I end up not making it, which is probably gonna happen, I'll see you in January 2021 with fresh content and sort of a small rebrand of the channel. I hope. Please God help me. So don't forget until next time, stay inside, stay safe, play video games. That's not the order. Stay safe, stay inside, play video games and, and nothing I'm out of ideas. Just take care of yourself.